Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today on my YouTube channel, I'll be showing you how you can screenshot with Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. And I'm using the new edition of Microsoft, and that's Microsoft 365. And, and if I see using the old edition, you can still follow along because this feature is in the old edition. So let's add it back to the piece. And now I'll be starting with how to screenshot on Microsoft Word. So the first thing you have to do to screenshot on Microsoft Word is to open your Word page and now now i'm on what page i'll just go to insert under insert you see right here screenshot i want to see the screenshot you see the screen clipping i select that and now it's, it's taking to the page that i'm open on and another I'm, i am here i can just clip the part i want to screenshot that's one to screenshot this part i can clip that and to bring and to bring it here and let's see I want to screenshot the full window I will just clip the full window it's going to be faded then let's say I want to screenshot this, the full window just do this the full window and just screenshot it and bring it here so that's what you need so let's say I want to screenshot other apps like for Microsoft like um, my library is that is the Fire Explorer just open that and that this opened I can I can open the word on top of it. Make sure you don't close it. Just open the word on top of that. And now I've moved it on top of it. So I'll go to insert. And when I click on screenshots, you're going to see my library windows right here. So you say available windows. This is my library window. So I'll click on that. And now it just brings it to your screenshot. But let's say I don't screenshot my full library. I can just go back to insert, screenshot, screen clipping, and it'll be faded. Unless you want to switch up from the tags bar to a little part of the library, I can also do this. Let's see here, and to bring it here. So this is what I just screenshotted. So guys, this is how to switch it on your Microsoft Word. As I said earlier, I, I'm using I'm using the latest version of Microsoft Word, of Microsoft like Microsoft 365. So now how to switch it on your on PowerPoint, on Microsoft PowerPoint. The first thing you have to do now is to open your PowerPoint. I'll go to layout blank but this thing i did that i did the layout blank it doesn't matter but i just like the blank layout so now it, the same thing goes up for powerpoint again just click on insert just click on insert uh, you see right here screenshot screen clipping i can do that screen clipping it's going to be a little bit faded then yeah i can just let me start with the windows does this bring it here so let's see how to screenshot another app Let's jump in and screenshot my Chrome browser. Let's open that. And after that is opened, I'll just open my PowerPoint on top of it. Yes, I'll open my PowerPoint on top of it so I can screenshot it. Now this my Chrome browser is open. So while that is open, let me open my PowerPoint on top of that. Let's go to insert. And then insert, I go to screenshot. Screenshot. I go to screen clipping and this is going to be faded and I can clip the part I want to screenshot. So this is going to show you. Just simple, you come here to it's very simple. You come to insert screenshot, screen clipping. Just come right here. Hey, pick another part. So guys, this is it. This auto screenshot on your on um, Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. And one thing I like about screenshotting on Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and, and Microsoft PowerPoint is that after you screenshot this file I just screenshot, I can still save it as a picture. So let me show you that. Um, I just get to. I'm still want to cancel it. Should we ask me if I want to save and I say documents i'm saving the document i'll see more save options click on that i'm closing this one screenshot tutorial 
So now, now that I'm here, I'm good. Let me see this image on my desktop so that I can have easy access to it. So, right here, just go save as time. You see that, or click on that, and now to save it as a picture, what you just can just I'll save it as a JPEG file right here. I'll click on that. So, this JPEG file is like a picture file. So, I'll click save after I'm done. It's a me if I want to save. Uh, if I want to save all the slides, or just this slide, so I'll click just this one. Um, so now, this is it. So I can open that, and now it's going to open as a picture. So now you can see this, it has opened as a picture. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is all I have for you today. If you have any other topic you want me to cover, please, read it, please leave it down in the comment below. I will read them all and add it to my list of videos to create. And please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, so you're going to find any time I upload any content just like this. Bye, and I hope to see you next time.